Well, good evening, friends. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Oh, my goodness. Man, it's going to get crazy. Um, Washington fans are out like I have not seen in forever. Everywhere I go, you know, I wear Cowboys gear everywhere. Everywhere I go, I got something on. It's either Joe Boo or Dallas Cowboys because that's the way I am. Listening to uh, Sports Talk 980, dude was just rambling on about how Cowboy fans, they, they wear their stuff everywhere to church and gatherings and out to dinner and this and that. And they literally had, they said, well, we're going to take a call from one Cowboy fan. Um, the Cowboy fan that they had, if he really was, I think he was a plant. Because dude sounds like he was emasculated. I mean, they literally just, you know, I, they, they should have had me on there. They should have had me on there because they really just joked him. But everywhere I go, I've had people ask, you must be from Texas, then, aren't you? No, born and raised here. Just hate the Washington football team. Always have. They need to round all y'all up and send y'all back to Texas. Okay. Okay. So it's definitely getting that kind of feel right now. So I, I'm, I'm getting ready. Um, I'm very fortunate right now because, well, one, Roscoe is caught up in, in the cord here. Don't want him to trip. Cable on the phone. I'm fortunate because I'm trying to do better. My wife uh, let me know that, you know, when I've done tailgates and parties and stuff like that, that I am running around so much being the control feet, trying to do everything that I literally go crazy and I don't spend enough time with the fans. So, you know, that's the focus on me here. And I'm very, very blessed because uh, starting tomorrow, uh, my man, Jet D, uh, you know you know how to barbecue when you actually take, you remember my red truck. He drove my red truck down to Texas and got himself a smoke trailer, okay? First of all, you got to know, no, listen, he one of those guys that, you know, when you see the grease and stuff on the hands, you know that they can have your car fixed in 10 minutes. That's Jet D. But Jet D, former rodeo guy, okay, bull rider, he knows how to smoke that stuff. So he's taking care of smoking the meats in Philly 500. No, you can't have none. So that's taking that off my plate for tomorrow. Um, I got my man David Wiley, Chef David Wiley. We picked up 50 pounds of potatoes, you know, like four big jars of mayonnaise. We're, he's going to be, I mean, and baked beans. Baked beans. We're going to have plenty of beans. We're going to have potato salad. We're going to have pulled pork. We're going to have brisket. We're going to have chicken wings. We are going to do this thing upright. We ended up getting 80 tickets all grouped together. 80 tickets, okay? There's a couple of you left that still have to pick up your tickets and things. A couple of you last minute, like Nick Cat. You, you know what's almost funny? It's almost funny that I had Nick Caps, who's a Washington fan, okay? Washington fan, he's like, oh, man, I need a parking pass. So he went and tried to get one, and he said they're all sold out and stuff in red zone. I can't get one online. He calls me up and says, man, I need a parking pass. <sighs> Come to me. Come to the godfather here. It didn't take me five minutes to hang up the phone with him, get the parking pass, and get back on the phone and say, you know, how does it feel, Nick, that you got to come to a Cowboys, Cowboys fan for help? So today, as we've had this buildup, because, you know, th this, this is like, you know, old school Trash talking here between Washington and Dallas here. You know, fans and stuff usually like, oh, the Cowboys are playing this week? This week actually felt like a hate week because I've been hated a lot. But I felt like today that Jerry Jones was showing me some love. Now, I'm sure he wasn't talking about me or talking to me directly. He was talking about the whole. But Jerry, I'm going to say, Jerry... I believe you were talking to me personally, okay? And I want you to know, Jerry, we are in red zone lot, Jerry. 
you want to see you, you you went on he went on the fan today you know he lo- he loves to be on the fan you know John Machado tweeted this out you know a couple hours ago Jerry Jones on Cowboy fans in Washington D.C. You know we have more we have always sold more Cowboys memorabilia and had our most positive fan support coming from Washington. Outside of the Texas area, Washington is where we have the most support. Joe Boo Sports Report up here sticking the knife in the back of the Washington football team. So, Jerry, we got a tailgate with about uh, 200 Cowboy fans. We got, we got, now we got a few. We have a few Washington fans that, that, you know, that they're closeted Cowboy fans that, that, that'll, be there. We we got a, a, a stinking New York Giant fan and things. We we got people that are truly diehard Dallas Cowboy fans. We'll be live streaming from out there. We'll have a sixty five inch TV. You know you know what, Jerry. I tell you what. Let me know if you if you want to if you let me know that you're coming. I, I'll go uh, now. Not to Seven Eleven. I won't go to Seven Eleven to buy my liquor. I'll go to the liquor store and I'll get whatever you want to drink, Jerry. Whatever you want to drink. I mean, if it's Johnny Walker Blue, you know, if that's what you want. You know, if you want some, uh, you know, Ron Zappa rum, uh, that's my that's my drink there. You know, I like my Ron Ron Zappa. Um, but but whatever it is, Jerry, you want. I want to show you how big the Dallas Cowboy fan base is here, because this tailgate. I think it'll rival, rival some other ones. So definitely come check us out, Jerry. Um, news on the Cowboys. Um, somebody had commented that they heard um, Micah Parsons was out. So I thought they heard it from Mike Fisher. I, I think they're hearing things because Mike Fisher wouldn't put out anything like that. There's no. I think you misheard. Maybe he was out of practice, but. He's not listed on the injury report. Not at all. Not at all. Nothing. Nothing. Zero. Zilt. Zingo. Not a concern. Tony Pollard, on the other hand, well, Tony Pollard is on the injury list as questionable and will be a game time decision. Game time decision. So that's where we are as far as injuries go. Um, Amari Cooper apparently was still having flu-like symptoms uh, the following Thursday when we played. He says he's got no lingering effects right now um, from any of that and that he's ready to go. We're going to need him ready to go. And we have Lyle Collins apparently will be the starter on Sunday at right tackle. And so Terrence Steele will go back into the swing tackle role, and we'll see what the Cowboys have uh, what they're planning on doing, they better plan on winning because when you put yourself out there like that, I mean, I guess, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Um, the Cowboys doing that because now it seems like football has evolved into the, you know, take every chance, uh, NFL. I've seen more fourth down goes for it, you know, going for it in their own territory and things where teams are just saying, you know what, screw screw the normities. You know, we're going to take a chance. And this is where maybe this was a calculated chance from Mike McCarthy to, you know, fire up the truth, maybe to get some extra plug going. Hell, for all we know, this could have come from the higher-ups in the NFL and said, you know what, we want more play for this 1 o'clock afternoon game. And that definitely stirs some stuff up. So... <sighs> forgive me. Uh, forgive me. Been running like a chicken with my head cut off. Um, but we'll have more tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern, for our live stream. I hope you guys tune in. Uh, we'll be giving our final prep talk and stuff like that. Um, there's a video. If you're coming to the game, um, there's a video I did earlier tailgating FedEx Field. Um, it'll help you to realize how to get to the lot the easy way. Um, if you are coming to the game, and you're going to red zone lot and you're parking there. The way to do it is you want to come up Sheriff Road. 
okay? GPS William Pika Elementary. William Pika Elementary. Because when you go to FedEx Field, you have all these main, you know, entrance ways like off of uh, Central Avenue. There's, uh, there's like Sean Taylor Way, you know, off of um, another one. And you'll see all the X's up on there and, you know, all of the roads and everything else, you know, ways to get through there where they turn the sign. So all the traffic's going in, that's not where you're going. Because, see, red zone lot is close to the stadium. It's right behind, it's right behind the parking deck. The parking deck that, you know, the, the, the VIPs use. The lot is right behind that. But coming off of Sheriff Road, there's an entranceway there that's right beside the school. You'll see the sign, red zone lot. And when you look at it, it's like a little road that goes right into the back of the parking lot there. The good thing about this parking lot is when it's time to leave, instead of you having to go through all of those X's and all the roads going the different direction, you can slip out that same back way out the parking lot and you end up um, being able to get out of there quicker because you, you don't want to stay at FedEx Field too long. You, you, you get that stank on you, and then that stank ain't no fun. So with that being said, It is time for me to get out of here, and apparently Mike McCarthy is believing in this. You play to win the game. Hello? You play to win the game. You don't play to just play it. That's the great thing about sports. You play to win. And I don't care if you don't have any wins. You go play to win. When you start telling me it doesn't matter, then retire. Get out. Because 